In this video, we're going to discuss if you should use back supports or not. I'm going to share with you three things that you should know regarding back supports. And this is a video for all you back pain folks out there you're not going to want to miss. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Coach Remy here. In today's new video, we're going to be addressing the question, should you use a back support or not? I'm going to be sharing with you three things that you should know, and we're going to be discussing what the research says, my personal experience using back supports for my back injury, and also ultimately are back supports helpful for you. The first thing that you should know and the first question that we need to address is why should you use a back support? So when it comes to using a back support, the main benefit that comes from using a back support is that it can keep your spine in a better position. So if you look to a lot of chairs out there, not every chair has a support for a person's back. And a good example would be a stool. If you're someone that sits on a stool all day and there's no support for you to lean back, then you may be in this rounded forward posture all day. And that's not going to be good for your low back over a long period of time, or especially if you're someone that has existing back issues, as that may trigger symptoms much quicker. So when talking about a back support, the whole point of it is to help keep your spine in a better position and to help spare your back of stress. So when you're talking about different types of chairs and different types of seats, they're all designed differently some better than others, but the important thing is, is to find a chair that is spine friendly for you and that may involve adding a back support for you. Especially for someone that may be traveling a lot, maybe he's on the road as a truck driver or someone that sits at an office all day. The whole point and the, the big benefit that comes from using a back support is that it keeps your spine in a better position or sparing the low back of stress. And when you look at it on a larger scale, if you're someone that has existing back issues, maybe flexion-based issues, discogenic issues, and you have pain with sitting, maybe say it's 5-10 minutes, you start to get pain and it rapidly builds up, a good back support can maybe spare you some extra time. So maybe instead of 5-10 minutes on a poorly designed chair, with a good back support, maybe you get an extra 5-10 minutes. So instead of your threshold being 5-10 minutes, it's now 15-20 minutes. That's where a big benefit of using a back support comes into play when we look at it in big picture, especially for someone that sits a lot and has existing back issues. The second thing that you need to consider is the type of back support that you're going to use. And you have to figure out the best back support that's going to be best for your situation. So you have to consider your back injury, your spinal anatomy, and also the type of situation that you're going to use it in. Are you someone that travels on an airplane or on the road all the time? Maybe you need something more portable. Or maybe you're at an office desk all day where you can just have something that's a little bit more sturdy and stable and that you can kind of just leave it there all day. So there's a couple of things that you need to consider there. And one brand that I recommend and Dr. Stuart McGill endorses them is Innotech. The reason I like the Innotech back support is because it's personalized and you can customize it to your spine because it has an air pump where you can inflate the back support and it can kind of build up with with air and that can you can tailor it to your spine in terms of what's most comfortable for you and they have one that is a little bit more sturdy and big that you can just leave at you know your chair all day if you're working in an office or you can have one that's more portable you can bring it on an airplane and there's also been research that's done from Dr. McGill's work in lab showing that these back supports actually do work and have benefit for people when they're sitting maybe in an uncomfortable chair like an airline seat the third thing that you should know is to do your own research when it comes to back supports. There are plenty of back supports out there and I recommend you try a few different ones out. Some back supports out there offer 30 day trials, money back guarantee. Some are going to be designed for shorter spines. Some are going to be designed for longer spines. Some are going to be personalized. Some aren't personalized. Some are going to be using different material than others. The whole point is you need to find the back support that is best suited for your situation, your anatomy, and I recommend you do your own research and try a few different ones out there and find what's best for you. And finally, that leaves me with a bonus tip for you guys. The bonus tip involves using a gel cushion if the seat of your chair is very uncomfortable and hard and you need something that's a little bit softer or maybe a little bit more support. A gel cushion can come in handy and I do often use one for myself when I'm working at a desk or on my computer and I'm sitting there for a couple hours. So that's my fourth and final recommendation. It's a little bonus tip is using a gel cushion. So 
That's a wrap for this video, guys. I hope this answers the question as whether you should use a back support or not. I do recommend you look into using one because it could help spare you an extra few minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes when sitting if you're someone that does have back pain and you need to sit. So it can be a worthwhile investment. You just need to find the right back support for your situation. And if you have any questions, guys, please be sure to leave your questions in the comment section below and I'll be happy to help you out. Okay, guys, that's a wrap for this video. All the best. Have a successful and productive day. Take care.